Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into the brushes that I use in order to clean the wheels and tires and wheel wells. Not necessarily going into the chemicals today, I'm going to do a separate video on the entire process of cleaning this entire area. But for today we're going to be going over the brushes that I chose and why I chose them uh, and the importance of cleaning the wheels and wheel wells. For one, whether you're doing it for your, yourself or a customer, uh, this is something that really stands out, not just the paint or the body of the vehicle, but the wheels are really important as well. When you get to the tires, the customer or yourself might have applied a uh, oil base, you know, a real thick gel to the tires, and it might have gunked up or really, you know, absorbed a lot of dirt and debris and everything and actually absorbed it into the tire. You might have a thick layer on here, so it's important on uh, the cleaning process in order to get all that off before applying another dressing. You just don't want to keep stacking dressing upon dressing. Uh, you also might start to get uh, changes in color on the tire. If it starts to absorb that dirt and debris, you might have a brown tire or a grayish looking tire. And uh, it's important to get that clean and restore it back to the OEM look. So on here, I actually have VRP and or Silk Shine. That's what I use on the tires and it turns out really nicely. And then on the, the rims themselves, uh, I'll use uh, you know, I have a couple dedicated like Diablo wheel cleaner. I have a signature wheel cleaner. I also use a PNS uh, brake buster. There's a lot of good chemicals and stuff out there to get these jobs done uh, and it's affordable, but that'll be for another video. Everything that I'm about to show you as well as all my other videos will be linked down in the description for you guys if you guys are interested. But I have dedicated brushes for the wheel wells, for the uh, wheels or the tires and the wheels or rims themselves. So as far as the wheel wells, I like to use some larger brushes like this, which is actually really handy. Uh, you can actually find these in basically any store, whether it be Walmart, Myers, you know, any Menards, Lowe's, Home Depot, stuff like that in the cleaning department. Uh, these are just large cleaning brushes. This is a stiffer bristle and I use this if there's a lot of uh, mud or dirt buildup in the wheel well. This gets in there and cleans them up really nicely. Now, if it's not as bad or if you have a tighter wheel well like this, this is a softer bristle. Uh, it flexes a lot more and uh, is a little bit softer, so you still remove that dirt and debris and everything. So obviously you're gonna start out with the cleaners and pressure washing to get a majority of it off, but then you spray your cleaner in there and you go in and you scrub it with one of these brushes. And I chose these two brushes because they have a good angle to them. They're long and I can access almost the entire wheel well area. For the face of the tire, after I spray my chemical on, in order to get that previous tire coating off, I use a Libman smaller brush. This is a stiff bristle, uh, not so stiff that it's gonna damage or, you know anything to the tire, but it's stiff enough that it's gonna remove that chemical uh, or tire shine that you have previously applied. So this is what I use for the tire face. And there's a lot of different manufacturers and everything out there that specialize just in tire brushes and wheel well brushes and everything all over Amazon, detailing sites, stuff like that. Uh, but these are extremely cheap and affordable and it worked very well. So I saved myself some money just by going to the standard, you know, your general store and picking up some brushes like this. Now, when it comes to the actual rim itself, that's where I wanted to stay away from anything that's super stiff because the last thing you want to do, whether it's your own personal vehicle or your customers is to scratch the rim because not only are you going to be upset with yourself, you could really upset your customer and you really don't want to do that. So when it comes to cleaning the wheel face, I use a brush like this. This is from chemical guys and this is a really soft bristle brush and it works very well for cleaning the face of the tire. Now there's still a lot of, or face of the rim, I'm sorry. Uh, there's still a lot of area that you can't cover with this. Obviously you can't get in the barrel with this brush. You can't get in the lug nut areas. And depending on the rim, this just won't cover everything. This just covers the main majority of the rim face. 
So all of these products will be linked down in the description for you guys if you guys are interested. Now a couple brushes that you wanna stay away from are brushes like this. Uh, and you will find these near the auto detailing section, but this is not good for tires or rims or anything like that. Yes, this is a mid stiffness brush here, but it does have a wire through it. It is not protected whatsoever. There's no rubber over it or anything like that. Uh, it's a very cheap brush and you could really scratch a rim with this. So I would not suggest using this. And then there's this, you might recognize as more of a parts cleaning brush and that's what it should be used for, not on you know detailing uh, rims or anything like that, not even engine bays, unless you're cleaning you know parts of the engine bay that are really grimed up or anything like that because the ends of these bristles are very almost sharp. Uh, they're not smooth, they're very rough. Uh, so it's gonna remove that dirt and debris, but that's not something that you want to use on a rim. So I stay away from anything that shows metal as far as the inner wire on this brush, as well as this having a metal uh, basically clamp to hold the bristles in. The bristles are stiff, as well as having that metal piece right here. You could really one slip and you could scratch a rim and that's definitely what you don't want. So I stay away from these when uh, cleaning. What I do use for getting the barrel is something like this. This is actually found at Walmart and this has actually worked really well for me over the last couple months. Uh, it does have almost a mesh foam sponge on the back side, and then on the other side it does have the microfiber uh, portion as well. I leave this in my bucket specifically for wheel cleaning and it allows me to get in and clean the barrel of the tire or the rim and it works very well. Only on specific rims though. Something like this where you have a lot of space, it's very easy to use. Um, but something with tighter spokes or anything like that, it can be a pain as well as if it's a deep dish rim. Uh, you really have an issue with getting it all the way to the back and then I'm always slamming my hand up against the face of the rim, which can be really annoying. So another style that is great all around is your wheel woolly. Uh, they have a lot of different designs and lengths and sizes of these. These are fantastic for cleaning barrels of rims. Uh, you can get the ones with the uh, bristles where it's almost like your standard brush bristles. I don't care for those just because even though they do say they're soft bristles, they, they're really not all that soft. Yes, most likely you won't scratch a rim, but I didn't want to take the chance anyways. Plus, when you got this thing full of soap and water, when you're going in and out of the barrel, when you're pulling it back, those bristles slide up against the uh, rim and it just flings water and soap everywhere. Uh, and that's why I chose this one. This is actually a, a wool. Uh, fabric bristle. The entire shaft of the brush is plastic. There's no metal to it. The other design uh, of these will have a metal shaft and up at the top will have a little rubber cap over the top of that twisted metal wire, which is nice to help prevent scratching, but all it takes is that rubber cap to fall off or you not notice it and you jam it into the rim then you got a bad day. So this is the brush I just recently picked up and uh, we'll be doing a video on it as well. So here's kind of a close up look at the bristles being wool. And uh, it's got a nice foam handle to it and a plastic shaft. So it's very safe uh, and prevents that sling back of soap and water and everything on you. So that's a nice little brush. As far as cleaning the rest of the rim, since you can only get so much with the face brush, and your barrel brush, you still have small intricate parts of the rim that you might not be able to clean uh, with those brushes. So that is why detailing brushes like this are very important. This is from Detail Factory. Once again, everything's linked down in the description. This is actually my interior brush. This is a synthetic bristle, very soft bristle. <laughs> very very unlikely that you're going to damage anything with this style bristle it's extremely soft almost like a makeup brush uh, which i know a lot of detailers use makeup brushes because they're easily accessible uh, whereas something like this a majority of the time you have to order online this is my 
interior brush. They also have boars, hair version, everything, and still would do a good job. But with this being such a soft bristle, this is not what I use on uh, rims, just because if there is a lot of dirt and stuff built up in the lug nut area or in the small crevices and corners of the wheel, I use a boars hair detailing brush. I have this one specifically for wheels. It's the medium size and it works perfectly for lug nut areas, getting in there, cleaning out the lug nut area. And uh, it's not a super stiff, it's not super soft. Uh, it's just strong enough to agitate that dirt and stuff that's stuck in there and get into the small areas of the rim that you might not be able to with a bigger brush. So these are really nice. There's no center core or anything that you take the chance of damaging anything. Both brushes are of plastic, so you don't have any metal on here that could possibly scratch the rim. So those are the things that I look for, something that's plastic and or wood. They make wood handled ones as well without this metal on there. This is definitely something you don't wanna use on wheels. Yes, there's similar design, but this is for parts cleaning as far as like engine parts and stuff like that alternators, you know, water pumps, stuff like that, that you might be cleaning up. Uh, these are more for intricate detailed things such as detailing a vehicle. Wow. What do you know? So these are the brushes that I use specifically for wheels and tires. Yes, it might seem like a lot. Uh, usually I only use about three of these as I determine how dirty the area is and everything. I'll carry these three brushes in my wheel cleaning bucket and that's it. If it's not quite as dirty, I won't use this brush. I'll use this one with the softer bristles. And then if it's not a deep rim or if it's really open like this, I could possibly use this brush instead. So I just determine the dirtiness of the area and what I'll need. And that's how I determine what brushes I want to use. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you stay tuned for the video where I actually go into the chemicals that I use and the process that I use to clean wheels tires and wheel wells. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys if you guys are interested in any of these items, they will be linked down in the description like I stated before, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your thoughts or any brushes that you use that you really enjoy. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. See you guys next time.